Here we are at network A, where we need to remote manage our cellular modem and devices at network B across carrier-grade NAT without a public IP address. With CGNAT, we can't use dynamic DNS because there's no public IP address at network B for DDNS to point to. So instead, we'll just download a tiny piece of free embedded runtime code from Weaved and self-install that on the modem. Now we can remote manage our modem or any device at Network B just by signing in at Weave.com. Once you've logged in, you'll arrive at the device list page for your account. Your device list is like a contacts list for all the TCP services running on your Weave enabled devices. The settings link shows more information about your online services. Connect to any service in your device list with one click. Now the Weaved backend is authenticating both ends of the connection, sending secure session keys and information to both ends so they can create a secure tunnel. So here we are at network B, the cellular modem, behind the carrier grade NAT, and now I can manage that modem from anywhere, even without a public IP. If I need to get to the command line on the modem or any device at network B, I can go back to the device list and connect using SSH. The Weave service will create a URL and port number. I can then copy that string out of the browser and paste that into any SSH client. Here I'll just use the command line terminal on my Mac, edit the string to match the username at the modem, that's root. So except this is the first time I've connected through this method, so I have to say yes. Password. And now I'm in at the command line for the cellular modem at network B. And from here I could SSH or access any device on network B, all behind carrier grade NAT. Now if I don't want to copy paste, if I want to programmatically get to the command line, I can script that. We have a number of scripts on our website. So here I'm back at the terminal. I just run a script that's going to automate the process of tunneling to the SSH command line on the modem. See, I can do this programmatically now and without even logging in at weave.com, without copying and pasting, I can get a command line at the modem. So that makes it easy to automate for M to M type applications.